guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 14 of Healing Good Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Yeah, I kind of wish I did this last night, but I couldn't. You know why? Because everybody in the freaking fireworks is going off in 5, 10, 15 minutes. And they ain't finished until like 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, some of them didn't even finish until 4. And I woke up early today, too. I was up at like 10.30, and then I went back. Almost an hour later. No, actually no. I don't wake up at 10.30. I woke up at like 9. Oh, God. No more asthma. That's a good question. It's going to be because, you know, you are so OP. And, you know, all your other different personalities. Hibiki, Madoka, Hitaba, Sagi, Time, and Evil. They all came and they were like, hey, we're just going to make you feel better today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, though. But it could be literally anything. It's just, it's because she's main character. And, you know, main characters can't feel sick, so... Of course, no matter what. You know, I kind of feel bad for the people on Crunchyroll who watch this because they don't get to see the cute little, like, freaking subs on here. And such with the opening and the ending, I mean, that's like the nice little touch, and you don't get to see that. You just see the pretty pictures and no words, and so you're just like, I wonder what they're saying. But I mean, hang on, yeah, you get everything. Mm -hmm. But still, it's like it's just the aesthetics of it. Like you just want something cute to pop out before you see nothing but like a bland, basic font. And I mean, because like, before when I cut you well, we had pretty fonts, but I mean, now you still kind of get it. It just depends. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll eat after. Before I start my patience. Okay. And see, there's a this is a festival episode, and of course they're gonna eat. Oh my god! Look at the donuts and the strawberries. What exactly kind of snark is this? Oh, well, Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, he's a catchy, so no matter what, you're going to expect great things from him, literally. Nothing. 
see, I feel like his character's only gonna really last up until, like, the last Kira comes. And then after that, he's just gonna get killed. Unless they really say, like, no, he's gonna be here until the end of the series. I I want food. I'm hungry. Awesome. <laughs> I still want another episode where we see her doing ish at the end. I mean, and the girls help too. That'd be so nice. I mean, like, that just looked like a Big Mac in a nutshell, like, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Mm. Hold on, wait, did he put mustard spinach as one word? Oh my god, I'm like, oh, Bobby just went like, home. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that either, but you know, hey, it's possible. See, like, I shouldn't be watching this episode on an empty stomach, but here we are. Nine minutes in. Haven't eaten anything. And looking at all this food, and I'm just like, ha ha, I'm hungry. <laughs> Same with the balloons, so cute. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, Ravini, no.
the kind that help people out. He's going to use the fan? Oh, interesting. It's complicated. Don't worry about that right now. <laughs> oh my god! Only Robin would be like, "Yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. Listen, we gotta, we gotta transform. We gotta fight, and then, you know, then we're gonna worry about the other problem that you know." Proud <laughs> It's child. <laughs> oh my god. I think any day is the worst. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's a candy. Oh my god. Oh.
I figured that would be too easy. Because it is a window, and then after all. He's chewing a rock. What's freaking good catching if you come, Mike? I'm probably gonna replay Persona 5 R after this. <laughs> oh, God. You're right. I just really want freaking total animation to just keep make some cute keychains of all these elements. I mean, seriously, do it. Everybody kind of wants it. I know I want it. Like, look at it. It's so cute. Oh, you mean Umi from Love Live, who's officially joining this show. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised if we see her officially today. Okay, you show her like that. That's fine. That's fine. But I, I was expecting more of, um, you know, her walking in the town. <laughs> Um. <laughs> you know, we could just buy some more. I mean. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. They are literally going to eat all those. Split between the six of them. Oh my god. Well, yeah, I mean, what? Would they give them the latte as well? I mean, so then that would be seven. And it was like, what, 200? Yeah, you can't do that. That math. Like, mm -hmm. you just, everybody eats and <laughs> no more. Oh my god. But it was a cute little episode. I mean, it focused on everybody, but it felt like the main focus was Nadoka at the end of the day, no matter what. I'm glad that she's feeling better because, I mean, this was a girl that. Ooh, go back how many months ago when this show aired? <laughs> February, I think it's when it started airing, that I related to, and then I was like, oh my god, we fi I finally got a care that I can kind of relate to, even though in an awesome way, like, I um, related a little teeny bit, a tiny bit to uh, Yukari from uh, Kitty Kitty Pink Girl Mode, only with the certain feelings that she had about herself. But to have someone who was sick and born sick, and now she's better, and I was like that myself, it's good just to see yourself and everything. I still wish we would have gotten the ish that we got last year with um, Star Trek Pretty Here and doing that in another season. But it's okay. It's okay. It's going to happen again. We just don't know when. Um, Soya was like our test subject. And hopefully, I don't think I'm going to be able to do my Patreon just today because of the rain. Hopefully, maybe two or three seasons from now, we get another cure that is different. And a, and a good background, but it was a good episode. This is just giving me feels to, um, you know, the episode in Car Cactus Sakura with Sakura and Kuro fight. <laughs> That is exactly what that preview is. I mean, I get it. Yeah, we gotta have an episode where they, like, fought. But I was assuming more that um, the girls were gonna fight. And not the girls and their partners. But, I mean, you get it. Typically, with the mask guys, it was gonna, it was bound to happen. I mean, that's why I'm not really that surprised that we're doing an episode about these two fighting. Because I've seen... How many magical shows do this, like? Magical girl shows like more than ten magical girl shows do this, but they're either a partner or their friend eventually. And, and I mean, it's okay. It's a trope, and it's interesting, and it's just like you get to see one episode or episodes. I mean, Star Trek: Pretty Hair did that like how many times in the length of forty something episodes, and had um, Lala and Hikaru fight how many times? Only really to get the uh, what I like to say the sexual tension between those two because at the end of the day with those two they're together no matter what that's it but I mean yeah it was a really good episode I liked the festival and everything I mean still I am hungry as heck and I'm probably gonna get me something to eat in a couple of minutes or just something to snack on because I feel like my mom is cooking something right now I don't really know but I mean I liked it for what it was I just think next week seeing these two um fight I think it's gonna be really interesting it's, it's going to be a different take. I mean, because, like, you... When you're coming into this next episode and you've seen so many other magical girl shows do the fighting with a friend or mascot trope and you're, like, you're wondering how is next week's episode going to either make it better or make it worse because I have seen some magical girls where it, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be and so I ended up either disliking or hating the episode because it's like hmm, we're just gonna have a fighting episode just to put it in for christ's sake i mean mm, 
who knows but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 14 of healing good for to hear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next i'm about to say saturday next sunday for episode 15 bye guys